Hi, I'm Doug Baker, Director of Sales here at Teledyne Hastings Instruments, and today we're going to do a short how-to video on setting up the THCD 401 power supply for doing ratio control of mass flow controllers. So let's get to it. Here we're going to take a closer look, and what we have is first a THCD 401 four-channel power supply readout. Now today I'm connected to two of the four channels. On channel one, we are powering and reading a 300 view mass flow controller with display. On channel two, we have our HFC 202 flow controller shown there in the back. Both flow controllers are zero to five volt input output and both are connected to their own small aquarium pumps, which is supplying air. So let's take a moment to talk about ratio control. What we are trying to achieve is to have the flow on channel two always at the same ratio as compared to channel one. Now, in this particular example, we have the ratio set to 50%. So the channel two set point is 50% of the flow measured by channel one. See, channel one is reading nominally 200 SCCM, therefore channel two set point is 100 SCCM. These two flow controllers happen to both be 250 SCCM full scale. But of course, this works for other ranges, right? It doesn't have to be the same range on both flow controller. The important thing to keep in mind is that the THCD 401 is measuring voltages. So 50% really means 50% of the voltage as measured on channel one. So if we were to actually take a voltmeter, go to the back and measuring the voltages, we would get four volts coming in on channel one, which in turn is going to send a two volt command signal voltage to the HFC 202 on channel two. That two volts corresponds to 100 SCCM. And that's what we see. Next, we're gonna watch ratio control in action. I'm gonna reduce channel one from 200 SCCM to 100 SCCM, and you will see how channel two maintains at 50%. Now suppose we want a different ratio. We just need to go into channel two and change the percentage. So now, how do we set up ratio control on the THCD 401? We need to go into the menus and select the set point source for channel two. So let's go in the menu, channel configuration. We wanna do set points. All right, and we wanna set up channel two. So I can change this over to channel two. And we're gonna go down to the source and we're gonna change that from internal, INT internal, to SLV1. Okay, so the set point will be derived from the value on channel one. Enter that, exit. So now when we go into channel two, it's gonna ask us to enter the set point as a percentage. Now that we've seen how to operate and set up ratio control from the front panel of the THD 401, I'm going to show you another way to do this, and you might even find it easier. If you look at the back panel of the THD 401, you will find an Ethernet port. So, what you can do is connect a cable from your PC to the Ethernet port. Next, you open any web browser. Now, I've been using Firefox, 
and what you want to do is type in the address and you can find that from the front panel menus of the THD 401. So in this case I'm typing in 192.168.1.180 and then you'll be able to access the power supply's internal web server. From here you can see live data from the THCD 401 and note that you also have complete control with the web server. But we're going to move into the channel configuration view. So as we look at channel 1 we see that it is set up for 0 to 5 volts at 250 SCCM. And if we scroll on down and look at channel 2, it is set up the same way, but with a different channel label. And if we want to do ratio control, we just have to set the channel source to SLV1 and then hit apply. I want to thank you for watching this short uh, how-to video and if you have any questions about the THCD 401 or any of our other flow or vacuum products, uh, please feel free to email us at Hastings underscore instruments at teledyne.com or you can live chat with us at www.teledyne-hi.com. Thanks again.